Hey Cora, you looking pretty. Starting to lose some hair. Looking pretty girl. What do you think? Those chickens doing it, Cora. Making lots of noise. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Progress, progress, progress today. Major things going on today. We are getting the uh, enclosed edition. Uh, we'll have to name this thing. The enclosed edition of the Ponderosa Barn. We are getting something major done today. You guys always start doing this when I start filming. Anyways, uh, the spray foam is going on today. I don't know if you've ever seen the process of how spray foam goes on, but it is fun to watch and it's, it's pretty exciting. It's one of those, uh, those things that you could sit and watch all day as it develops, as they spray it, and then it, it ex kinda blows up and expands. It's pretty neat to watch, but that's kinda the last sort of thing that we have to do before we really start doing all the interior work and start building walls down here in this area. We're gonna put two bathrooms in here. We've got, I'm gonna have an open space kitchen and then a um, kind of a laundry room, sort of utility room back in the corner here. And then we'll have a big hangout space. Just got these awesome doors um, put in and it's beautiful. I hadn't taken the stickers off. It just makes me nervous to take the stickers off. Um, so anyways, we're uh, gonna get it spray foamed and then everything will can start going and clicking and we'll be rocking and rolling at, at that point. Hey, Jackie. Charlie, come on in. Nope, see ya. It's a nice finish on it. Yeah, yeah, it's a little. This is my two inch, you got about two and a quarter. Is it okay to? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's hard. Soft, man. It's solid. There's two, exactly two inches. You see these, that's what's where we've gone by. Make sure we.
to. All right, so all the work's been going on. I don't know a whole lot about spray foam insulation. I'm not sure if you guys do or not. So what we've been, uh, this wall here is uh, basically, we're in a 20 by 60 area that we're working on. Uh, we've been working on a, a lot here lately. So this uh, wall here that I'm looking at, it is a uh, 60 foot span and um, it separates basically from the other part of the barn. This is the bigger portion of the barn. You can see the Polaris and the skid steer. And um, this is a 40 by 60 area, but this wall separates it. And so it is spray foamed in what they call closed cell. So they did closed cell right there. That is super fire retardant too. It's some newer stuff they were talking about. So it makes you feel a little bit more secure in case there is a fire. And then they did closed cell up here. Um, so one thing about closed sill is, let me just give you a little heads up here. Okay. That is, it's super hard. And then I'm going to compare to open sill here in just a second. But on this closed sill, we did it on the roof too, and this big wall. And so closed sill basically helps, um, take care of any water leaks or anything like that. It's going to, if there's any moisture um, closed cell is the way to go. And so that's why they did the ceiling in that. So if there's any leaks on the C purlin, um, you know, where the sheet metal attaches to the C purlin, sometimes there can be leaks. And we've found some even before we put it on. And we've had to go up there and patch some of those holes and put some new screws in. And uh, that just happens with some of these barns. Uh, they leak every now and then. And this one was in really good shape and didn't really have hardly any leaks, but it did have a section where it did leak right down here. So the closed cell is gonna protect you from the moisture in the uh, ceiling. Um, and then what they did was, is they came back through and put open cell on it. Now, this is open cell. You can see, you can see it looks different. So this open cell, now you can see, I haven't put, I haven't pushed my finger right through there. This is an eight inch sea purlin wall from the existing 
barn here. This is eight inches and you can see how thick that is. That is a lot of open cell. And so they did open cell on this entire wall. There's open cell there, which our office is right in there. So open cell and then open cell on our north wall, which is you can see all the plumbing's going on, the bathrooms and stuff there. And then, like I said, open cell over the ceiling. So you got an R value of, I think, 19 or something up here. And like, I'm not an expert at that. I don't know a whole lot about it. I'm learning as we do this type of work here um, at this and at the cabins. I kind of learn, I pick up some of these things sort of as a contractor role. Um, not a contractor, just a bison rancher. And uh, so I'm kind of starting to learn these things, but you could tell the difference as soon as this thing was done getting spray foamed and uh, spray foam is the way to go. Something else that it does, especially in your ceiling and your walls is it strengthens it. It's going to take that metal and really bind it together and strengthen your barn. And um, we had a, we had a windstorm. We had a hailstorm. You guys probably know two or three weeks ago, I filmed it. And uh, it was super loud in here. The walls were shaking and everything. Well, yesterday we had um, gusts up to 60 miles an hour all day long. And I was in here and you could tell the difference. The barn was not shaking. It was, it was kind of an intense wind, but it was not shaking near as bad. The sound was down a lot. And now the work really begins and the walls are going to start going up now right there. So um, that's the next thing that we're going to start attacking on this. Um, section of the barn. So, hey Charlie. Hey Charlie. Well, that'll be the next improvement, and uh, we're going to keep this covered in plastic. So, something we're going to do, I haven't mentioned, is we're going to spray, we're going to paint this. We're going to paint the ceiling, the whole thing. Uh, we're going to, there's, they uh, make a special paint for this uh, that you can put directly on this. Uh, uh, spray foam insulation and we're going to put um, we're going to paint it black I think is what we're going to do so uh, we've heard that black turns out really good so we're going to spray paint this and we're going to leave it an open concept basically uh, for the ceiling so excited to do that as well add it to the list right all right we got some work to do now we're going to go get our book we've got our got a feeder with us I got some work to do we're going to go visit the big Joe herd and go see Cora Let's see how our girl's doing. Cora, Cora. Just fed her. Just give you a little update on her. She's doing good. Let me get my hands all over. There's lots of hair. Got a brush for her. Oh yeah, starting to lose some of that winter hair. She's doing really good. Been able to put the saddle pad on her a little bit here and there. Hey girl. Hey, Cora. Oh, and don't forget about Jackie. Oh, Jackie. Jackie's her buddy. Oh, hey. Look who it is. Hey. What's up, Betty? Betty? Betty's doing great. Just living the dream. On the bison ranch. Good to see you, buddy. Got the yearlings taken care of. Got the big Joe herd taken care of. Excited about the work going on in the barn. Now it's time to get after it. Now that it's spray foamed, it's uh, walls are going to start going up next. Hey guys, don't forget April 15th, we're doing our new merch drop. There's going to be some new caps on there and new shirts. Excited for that. Also, that is our roundup day. And so you got a couple exciting things going on. Uh, we're doing our spring roundup. Uh, some things are going to be changing around across Timmer's Bison Ranch. Has to do with Mom and Kevin's place where Dunbar is and the Ponderosa here. You guys stay tuned for April 15th. Thank you guys for watching us today. We'll see you guys soon.